Silence their cell phones or turn them off and electronic devices and everyone please rise for a, a moment of silence and pledge to the flag. Tom, would you introduce our guest singer this month? Thank you, Chairman. Uh, would you all please remain standing? Guys, there you go. Would you all please remain standing as Owen Carreri from Port Jervis, New York, sings the national anthem? So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the brave. And thank you very much. And thank you, Ms. Carreri, too, a music teacher, for bringing your son, and Legislator Fagione for finding this fine young talent. <laughs> okay, have a good day, Owen and Mom. Roll call. Benelli? Here. Paduk? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulasek? Luhan, Present. Menuda, O'Donnell, Here. Riskevich, Here. Sassy, Here. Sierra, Aye. Staganga, Here. Sutherland, Here. Tortell, Here. Tui, Here. Vero, Brescia. 20 present, one absent. Okay, we have three speakers signed up beforehand. First speaker, Virginia Scott, regarding agenda item number 18. Good afternoon. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank um, the staff for updating the committee meet, uh, minutes for last month, but this month we only had two committee uh, minutes have been posted. I actually thought item number 18 would never come up again. If you recall, last year in February, after the shooting in Florida, I came to this committee and I asked you not to accept this money. It's up again. I appreciate seeing the minutes of this particular meeting because now I have some questions. First of all, I ask that you refuse the proceeds. Second of all, I had asked, why can't we as taxpayers repay? Why can't this money be in the budget for their training? That's what we should be doing, supporting the sheriffs. But as I look at April and May, the um, to date revenue for boarding uh, detainee, ICE detainees, we're now up to $4,102,241. None of that money could be used. I talk about school safety. You also, the Orange County Sheriff's Department is also getting revenue for being in schools. What are we doing with that money? My final plea, 
This is blood money. $1,889.30? Is it really worth taking this money from a special interest group that some of you attend their fundraiser? And I know we talked last election cycle about pay to play. Here's an example where you could show that you're not getting pay to play. Thank you so much. Okay, next speaker, Mary Lou Dietrich, regarding agenda item number 18 as well. Hi, thanks for hearing me. As a retired teacher for over 30 years and an organizer of the March for Our Lives last year, this issue is very, very important to me. I remember the discussion that occurred last year. So once again, I ask you to represent the people who are here telling you what we want. We elected you to represent us. I have no problem with the NRI Foundation giving you money if it were to be used for pursuing responsible gun reform. However, to use $1,889.30 for the purchase of more ammunition is not helping solve the problem of mass shootings. I am sure you can find that money somewhere else in the budget. I find it amazing that when dealing with the opioid crisis, it is always never let's purchase more drugs to combat the problem. The answer is always, let us get the drugs off the street. Let us prosecute the dealers. Let us provide education. Let us train the public in how to handle a crisis. It is never add more drugs to correct the situation. I am sure there are some out there say, shaking your heads right now and saying, God, her logic is flawed. Well, that is fine. That is what I am doing, shaking my head regarding the logic of the use of this money. To me, it is flawed when you accept money from a group like the NRA who advocate to put more guns out there to arm teachers um, and the general public to fight this critical problem that is facing our nation instead of working on a solution to the crisis. So I urge you to vote no and to ask the NRA to use the money to promote responsible gun reform. Then accept the money. At least you'd be doing something good for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, Jerry Kleiner, regarding Heritage Trail, the agenda item number one. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I thought somebody should come and just uh, hope this is a unanimous vote. Uh, I realize uh, on this silver anniversary of our advocating for the Heritage Trail coming to Middletown. It really started with Orange Pathways in 1994. Some people advocated since 93, but I'm just calling it the silver anniversary. We're really hoping it's gonna make it this time. Um, the bond resolution that you're amending is from February 2nd, 2012. So it's been a long, slow progression. Uh, I know the bids were out, I hope they uh, that there will be a bid opening soon or that we'll hear the results and uh, I hope you'll support this resolution. I don't know what happened to the Orange County IDA funding. I see that it's not going to be available for the trail to the tune of up to a million dollars. So I hope you will supply whatever additional funding is needed and I thank you for your support. I know in the last few years you've really been um, terrific at at um, providing the funding and getting behind the trail. So uh, I thank you and um, let's go. Thank you. And I also hope that when there's a, when we actually do get a groundbreaking that we'll have a notice of it. So um, it, it would be a great thing to have some people there to cheer it on. Thank you. I certainly hope so. Thank you, Jerry. Um, okay, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of April 5th, 2019. All, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Majority Leader Benelli again. Additionally, I would ask to move the, and to vote collectively on items number 20 and 21. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay. Any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? None. Okay. Um, a, receive and file, um, number one, Jean. 
Legislators Benelli and Hines, resolution confirming the reappointment by the county executive to the Orange County Board of Ethics pursuant to local law number nine of 2018. Second. Discussion? Yes. Would you please add all Republicans? Certainly. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Totel added, okay. Number two. Legislators Cheney and Kulasek. A resolution approving the consolidation of the New York State Vital Statistics Registration Districts 3562 and 3531 into one district pursuant to section 4120 of the public health law. Second. Discussion? Fagione and uh, Janet added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number three. Legislators Benton and Minuta. Resolution reaffirming the Orange County Department of General Services procurement policy. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number four. Legislators Benton and Anagnostakis. Resolution amending and reaffirming the Orange County investment policy pursuant to Article 3, Section 3.02D of the Orange County Charter and Section 39 of the New York State General Municipal Law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 21 eyes. Number five. Legislators Benton and Hines, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for assigned council pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number six. Legislators Benton and Paduke. Resolution dated July 2nd, 2019. Resolution of the, Ar the County of Orange, New York, pursuant to section 4100 of the local finance law, repealing in part various partially unissued bond authorizations of certain bond resolutions of said county, which authorize the issuance of bonds to finance various improvements in and for the county. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Benton and Kulasek, resolution allowing the Department of Finance to transfer any unspent revenues from completed capital projects. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Benton and Paduke, resolution allowing the Department of Finance to transfer any unspent funding back to its original source on completed capital projects. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? 
Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number nine. Legislator Benton, resolution pursuant to real property tax law section 558 directing the cancellation of certain taxes which have been rendered unenforceable. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kosek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 10. Legislators Benton and Kulisek, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county-owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County, pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. In number 11, bond resolution, two thirds vote. Legislators ben Paduk, Benton, and Benelli. Amending bond resolution dated July 2nd, 2019. Further amending the bond resolution adopted February 2nd, 2012, and amended on February 4th, 2016, May 3rd, 2018, February 7, 2019, and April 5, 2019, in relation to financing the cost of the construction of recreational area improvements at the county-owned Heritage Trail at the estimated total cost of 9516990 Discussion? Some minority Leader Purdue. Yes, it's been a long time we've been working on this. I think we all know that. Um, I think it's very important that we all support this applicant, this <clears throat> bonding resolution so that we can continue the project because without it would stop and revert back and I would say probably that might be the end of it. However, I know we all support the trail so I'll be very happy if everybody would support this resolution. Legislator Hines. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I voted in committee to support it and I'll vote to support it today but I'm not happy to do it. Uh, in 2015, the IDA came to this legislature and promised to fund this project to the tune of a million dollars, a project that was going to cost the county 1.6. Guess what? It's going to cost us 1.6 again because we were led down a path uh, of, of doing this and voting a certain way. I remember Mr. Berkman sitting next to me and I said, you got my vote. The IDA is paying a million dollars. Why wouldn't I? Because it's only going to cost us 600. And now here we are paying the whole freight. So I'm a supporter of the Heritage Trail. I'm going to vote for it, but I won't vote for any of those people on the IDA that uh, when we confirm them next time who promised us this money and then pulled it away. And the ones that I'm blaming for that, and I have the minutes in front of me, are Mr. Scribus, Mr. Steinberg, Mr. Diana, and Ms. Rogulski. Uh, I don't blame Mr. Gatos because he wasn't here to make us that promise. Uh, Mr. DeSalvo and Mr. Brescia voted to continue to fund the project. Now, why did they say they don't want to fund it anymore? They got a letter from the authorities budget office of the state of New York. And in that letter, it doesn't say they're not allowed to fund it. It says, if the Heritage Trail is not a proper IDA project, then the IDA providing funds to the county for the Heritage Trail could be perceived as a grant or a loan to the county. The next sentence is, the ABO is interested in learning more about the IDA's role and involvement with Orange County in the Heritage Trail. We would like you to provide copies of the project application, the IDA's cost-benefit analysis related to this project, a copy of the board resolution describing the project, and the financial assistance provided, the results of the public hearing regarding the project, and the IDA's formal criteria for the evaluation and selecting, selection of the projects for financial assistance. So what they asked the IDA to do was justify your position. Tell us why you thought that million dollars was reasonable. Guess what? I'm sure their answer should be, although it sounds like they're too lazy to do the paperwork to explain their decision. So they just said, let's just do nothing and stick to county with a million dollar bill. 
Everybody in this legislature knows that the Heritage Trail spurs tourism, spurs economic development. That's why it's proper use of the IDA. And I submit to you, the county attorney's office must have rendered an opinion that it was legal. Legislative council must have uh, re rendered an opinion that it was legal, or the resolutions never would have been put before us. And thirdly, the IDA attorney at the time, who I believe is the same attorney they have now, also must have thought it was legal because he would have uh, told them that at that time. Uh, in Committee at Ways and Means, I suggested to Deputy County Attorney Harry Poor that the county sue the IDA for that million dollars if they don't come up with it, because I believe it's a contract. In 2015, they told us, we're going to give you a million dollars. And now in 2019, they say, I can't say April Fools, but I guess we'll call it July Fools, because that's what they're making us to be. It's uh, ridiculous that they're not paying the freight. Uh, I urge all my colleagues, yes, to vote for this, but do not ever vote to reappoint because we confirm those members when they come before us. And I'll even go so far as to say the four I just mentioned should resign their positions because that's how I think they have hurt the IDA. Could you imagine being a business that came before the IDA and got promises of financial incentives financial incentives to build a company, create jobs, whatever you, 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 you have. And then when the project is almost done, they say, oh, by the way, we're not gonna pay the bill. Who would ever bring a business before the IDA? They've lost all credibility in my mind, and I submit to you, they've lost all credibility to the residents of Orange County and anybody coming here. So if we remove the offenders, we may be able to restore the faith that the public and any approaching business would have in our IDA. Thank you. Legislator Cheney. Yes. Uh, while I can't argue the comments made by Legislator Hines, I would like to uh, share with my, my colleagues here in the legislature uh, the implications of not voting for this. Uh, the first implication is likely to be a two-year delay in the project because they'd have to go back to square one and start all over again. We can only imagine what the cost increase might be over those two years. Um, the fact that we're adding a million dollars, we could be adding three million dollars uh, to, the, to the cost of the project in two years. It's uh, difficult to predict, but I think it's very important that at this time we bite the bullet and go ahead and vote in favor of this and let the project continue. Thank you. Legislator O'Donnell. Thank you, Chairman. So a couple of points uh, added to what Legislator Hines said. This is a quality of life issue, the Heritage Trail, adds to the economic development. Every company that comes here, the first thing they look at for their employees is quality of life. So this is fits under the uh, purview of what the IDA can do. The fact that they pull the rug out from under us is disgraceful. Uh, hopefully they can go back at their next meeting and uh, adjust this because that uh, money they have, I think they have $16 million uh, over there, that's taxpayer money, same as what we are about to vote on, taxpayer money. Except getting it from their $16 million pot will save the uh, interest that we have to pay or the taxpayers have to pay. So hopefully they'll uh, revisit this at the IDA and then we'll be able to uh, adjust the uh, bond number again. Uh, I s imagine this is going to be unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, Majority Leader Bernelli. Thank you. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree with the previous comments from all of my colleagues. Uh, last evening at the Republican Caucus, we discussed this issue, and we were very um, dismayed at the irresponsibility of the IDA members that voted against this. This was a commitment that was made to the taxpayers of Orange County, and for the most part, that they gave up on that commitment. They didn't even try, as Legislator Hines said, when they received the letter, they didn't even try to argue with the ABO, much like the Orange County Partnership has been arguing with them for years. Um, so it can be done. I think it should be done, and my Republican colleagues have asked that uh, we as a legislative body send a letter immediately to the IDA requesting that they revisit this issue and follow through with that last paragraph that came from the ABO asking for information and provide that and at least try, try to fight for it. So Mr. Chairman, I would be happy to work with you on that particular piece of correspondence. Yes, I would, I would assume the leadership is supportive of that as well. Yes, we'll certainly do that immediately. Any other comments? 
uh, Legislator Sierra? Yes, uh, I'd like to agree with the rest of my colleagues. <clears throat> also, I, I wanted to remind everyone that last year we did reappropriate some funds for Port Jervis. Um, they had some shovel-ready projects. Uh, so we did, uh, even though Middletown has been in anticipation of this project for many, many years, like Mr. Kleiner just pointed out, but um, you know we didn't have a problem reallocating those funds for Port Jervis. And uh, I hope everybody supports this project. It's very important economic growth. I'd like to be added to the resolution, please. Thank you. Absolutely. Any other comments? I just have to say that I'm a little dismayed at the IDA's decision, too. And, um, you know, I was the chairman of the governance committee in 2015 when we approved this. It came up on a statutory committee meeting. Uh, Jim Kulisek and myself endorsed us going to the IDA to seek this million dollars because there were legislators at the time, including myself, who might not have voted for the Heritage Trail extension, if not for this million dollars. So uh, Deputy County Exec, who was number three at the time, went to the IDA at the Armory Building in the city of Newburgh, and he had the mayor of Middletown alongside him, and Marie Bruni from the Economic Development Office, and I believe Jacob might have been there as well, and it was passed overwhelmingly by the IDA. And then we get this letter, lo and behold, recently from the ABO, and everybody gets cold feet. I think what triggered this ABO letter was a, a phone call from Senator Skoufis' office, their investigative team that they had there. And all of a sudden, we get this letter from the ABO on a resolution that was passed by the IDA in 2015. And, and I, I think that's disgraceful. I mean, I was ready to go full bore and, and move ahead. And I think we were on high ground for the justifications for the IDA to use that million dollars. And it does stink that it was rescinded. It really does. And I agree with Kevin. And um, we should take a hard look at that. Um, Deputy County Exec Poor has uh, told us the options. He's going to try to go back to the IDA and seek other sources for the revenue also. But it is, it, it is disheartening. And uh, you know, I don't agree with the IDA on this one. It, you know, the IDA is um, a, they're moving along with their Paris reporting very well, and they're in compliance, and they don't want to run afoul of the ABO. And I don't think they're running afoul of the ABO by allocating that million dollars. So I would encourage all of you to vote for this at uh, the same time being a little uh, disdainful, disdainful of the IDA's decision. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Yes. Cheney? Yes. Fed, Fedgion? Hines? Yes. Kulisek? Yes. Lujan? Hines. Minuta? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Briskevich? Yes. Sassy? Yes. Sierra? Yes. Stiganga? Yes. Sutherland? Yes. Tortell? Yes. Tui? Yes. Bureau? Yes. Brescia? Yes. 20 ayes, one abstention. Okay, number 12, another bond resolution. Chairman? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Luhan added. Legislators Tui, Kulisek, Benton, and Sutherland. Bond resolution dated July 2nd, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the roof replacement of Hangar E at the county airport, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50000 appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagion? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tu to uh, Bureau? Brescia. 20 ayes, 1 no. Okay, number 13. Legislators Tui and Benton. Resolution finding that the proposed increase in improvements to Orange County Sewer District Number 1 is in the public interest and directing the administrative head of the district to proceed with such increase and improvements. Second. Discussion? Totel added, do we say something? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, <clears throat> it, it, I feel it definitely is in the public interest. Um, living in a digital age now as we are, uh, there'll be six uh, sewer meters installed and um, I think that any time that we can be more accurate, trackable, um, that it's definitely in the public interest. So I'm going to support this. 
Thank you. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Banton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number 14. Legislators Tui and Benelli, resolution of the Orange County Legislature giving notice of intent to assume lead agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act Seeker with respect to the permit, modification, construction, and other activities for the Orange County Transfer Station number one in the town of Goshen making a preliminary determination that this project be classified as an unlisted action. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Number 15. Legislators Paduke and Tui, resolution authorizing the filing of an application for state assistance from the Household Hazardous Waste State Assistance Program and Supplement Electronic Waste Assistance Grants and the signing of the Associated State Master Grant Contract under the appropriate laws of New York State. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Stiganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Benelli and Tui, resolution seeking authorization to submit a 2019 New York State Consolidated Fund application, CFA, for site work and infrastructure improvements towards the redevelopment of county-owned Camp LaGuardia property. Second. Bureau added, Minuta added, Stagenga added, Ruskevich added, um, Luhan added, and Paduk added. Oh, you want to speak? You want to be added to or? Okay, go ahead, Mike. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I was here when we purchased this property. It's been a long time since we're trying to get back to make it improvements so that we can put it back on the tax rolls. Uh, however, in committee, I did mention that we also paid $1.2 million back to the uh, original or proposed developer of Mount Co. And we were supposed to get all the uh, um, services, everything that they looked at, paperwork, contracts, uh, um, investigations into whether it's uh, asbestos or whatever is at the site. I don't know if we have them on file somewhere, but for $1.2 million that we paid them to get out of the contract, I would make sure that we got all the information from them. So that's, I just wanted to add that in as well for the record. I believe we do have those reports from Mazer Engineering, correct? Harry? Yes. yes. Thank you. We have them. Right, and the county exec's office is gonna bring us a couple proposals. I, I know they wanna segregate the agricultural land on the lower, on the western end too. Maintaining the water rights, by the way, also. So, thank you. Yes. Just to add to that, too, uh, it was important. I mentioned this before, too. It's important the county executive give us a plan, but it's important that someone, maybe the chairman of the legislature, be involved firsthand with every meeting regarding Camp LaGuardia because the county legislature owns Camp LaGuardia, not the county executive's office. So, I think our opinion is most important and should be discussed with us any aspect of it that looks to be proposed or changed. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stiganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 17. Legislator Sassi, Lujan, Benelli, and Ruskevich. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to amend resolution number 255 of 2018 to update the seeker determination. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? 
Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number 18. Legislators Fagione and Vero, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from the NRA Foundation pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Fagione, you want to speak? Thanks. Thank you, Chairman. Um, this resolution came up last year and I asked that we all consider uh, being on the affirmative for this. I ask again that all my colleagues join with me and voting in favor of this. Uh, the one thing I promised the citizens of the city of Port Jervis, the town of Deer Park, and the town of Mount Hope, and all citizens in Orange County, is that I would do everything I can to give the tools to our sheriff's office to keep our community safe. This is the perfect example of providing tools to our sheriff's office to keep our community safe. Uh, the NRA and its foundation, they instruct over 750,000 citizens each year in America on proper firearm safety. They have over 125,000 firearms instructors across America that provide all types of training from hunter safety courses to law enforcement courses and even the Eddie the Eagle Safe Shield program teaching children what to do if they ever encounter a firearm. The NRA does not take blood money and I find it offensive that people would say that. I ask that we all support this. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Legislator Hines. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I can't think of a better use of NRA money than to buy range ammunition for the very officers that are going to keep us safe. What better use of the NRA money could there be than supporting the officers who are going to keep us safe? We have the best special operations group in the region, and we're known for that. Uh, one of the speakers tied in the school safety officer program with an NRA donation, which doesn't really make much sense to me, but uh, the officers in the schools do not get, the county doesn't make a profit on having sheriffs in the schools. As a matter of fact, I was involved with Sheriff Du Bois when he created this program, and he said it will be revenue neutral. If the schools want a car in front of the school, they pay for it. If they want an officer in the school, they pay for it. There's no profit in having a deputy sheriff at the school. So let me just clear that up real quick. I think it's an excellent use of NRA money. I can't think of a better use than to train the very officers. Those same school safety officers we're talking about qualify on that range as well. So it's a great use of the money, and I hope everybody supports it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Legislator Benton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I voted to uh, support this last year, and I'm going to vote to support this this year, although I believe there's only one technicality that we, I've been told is that we didn't even get last year's money yet. So hopefully we will get last year's money, and we'll also get this year's money. OK, Legislator Ruskevich. Uh, yeah, could you add my name? And, and uh, also, I just want to point out that the NRA, NRA Foundation is not the uh, lobbying arm of the NRA. Um, they're completely separate. Uh, all they do is raise money to support uh, all the types of programs that Legislator Fagione uh, uh, talked about. Uh, so I would uh, definitely support this. Thank you. Thank you. Legislator Stiganga. Um, I have to agree with uh, my colleagues. The foundation is actually a sub of the NRA, but they do all of your training, they do the teaching, they're the educational section, and the money that is going here is going to our Sheriff's Department, it is going to be utilized for the organization that is the ones that are out there every single day protecting our community, and I am kind of offended by it being considered blood money when it's going to be there to train our officers to be the ones who are going to be the first responders to protect our communities. Thank you. Thank you. Legislator Bureau. There's only a little bit of misunderstanding here. It's my understanding that the Sheriff's Office actually completed a grant application, submitted it to the NRA Foundation, and was uh, fortunate to receive this. So it's not a matter of just NRA throwing bullets to the county. It's in response to a direct application. Legislator Sutherland. Added, certainly. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Yes. Cheney? Fagione? Yes. 
Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 18 eyes, three no's. Okay, number 19. Legislators Tui, O'Donnell, Benton, Sutherland. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Veterans Service Agency to accept and appropriate grant funds from the Dormitory Authority State of New York pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion, Fagione added, okay. Staganga added, Minuta added, Sierra added, Lujan added, Kulasek added, Benelli added, and roll call. Um, Paduk added to roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 2021 collectively. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 22. Legislator Sassy and Tortell. Resolution providing for a public hearing upon the tentative budget for Orange County Community College for the fiscal year beginning September 1st, 2019, pursuant to section 6304 of the educational law. The, the public hearing will be held on August 1st, 2019 at 3.15 p.m. Bureau second, okay. Yes, Luhan? Added, okay. Any discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 21 eyes. And okay, number 23. Legislator Sassy and Tartell. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Youth Bureau to accept and appropriate funds from the Friends of the Orange County Youth Bureau pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Well, uh, Sutherland added, and Sierra added, and Staganga added, and Benelli. And Lujan, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 24. Legislators Cheney, Minuta, Kulasek. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature authorizing the inclusion of certain real property in Orange County Agricultural Districts number one and two, pursuant to New York State Agriculture and Markets Law, section 303B. Discussion, Fashion added. We do, uh, you, you want to speak? Uh, ask if we could vote on them separately, please. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go with number one first then, I guess. Okay. Number one is the parcel in the uh, town of Newburgh, uh, uh, requesting to be added to agricultural district number one by Francis J. and Kathleen Spinelli. It's section block and lot 20-43.2 containing 23.5 plus or minus acres. Okay, discussion on number one, Legislator Minuta. Yes, certainly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, with respect to this, uh, we had uh, the neighbors come speak to us last month. I have great concern for the neighbors and uh, I also have concern for those who own property and they should be able to utilize it as uh, it is directed to be used. Um, this issue is not an issue of whether it should or should not happen with regard to what the plans are. This is an issue of whether the value of the property for its agricultural use is a valid use. 
Anything that comes after that comes down to the local jurisdiction and their planning, zoning, and uh, the powers that be to foresee that. The people will have their fair chance to voice their opinions there when a formalized plan is created and presented to uh, the town planning and zoning board. And it is that time uh, that an appropriate action would be taken by them. But for this project, I am in support of it due to the value of the uh, simply the earth that lies on the land for farm use. Thank you. Okay. Legislator Benton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the truth is this piece of property was agricultural before anybody put any houses actually anywhere near it. All these houses were developed more recently than the previous farm and orchard that it, that it previously was. Most of the discussion and controversy in the neighborhood has probably just been a hearsay because, you know, the neighbor says, oh, well, he told me this, and the other neighbor says, well, they told me that. Um, so there's been quite a discussion in the neighborhood. But again, most of the problem, I think, comes back to when uh, a previous owner who has since passed away created a subdivision, a 15-lot subdivision, and changed some of the property lines to maximize um, the size of the lots, I guess, uh, in the subdivision. And so that's where some of the property line disputes, I think, have come into play and from people either knowing or not knowing, uh, but mostly caused by the previous owner who, like I said, has since passed away and whose wife sold the property. But during the process, I think it would be helpful to us. I think it'd help be helpful to Ag and Markets and I think it'd be helpful to the town of Newburgh as in, in our application paperwork requirement if uh, property owners who wish to have their property voted on to us to be included in a agricultural district, of which there's two in the county, that they submit some sort of drawing or some sort of plan. I don't, I'm not expecting really a survey uh, with exact placement of everything, but a general scope of what they plan, buildings, locations, roadways, and such like that. Uh, just a very you know simple plot or schematic so that neighbors would not be confused as to where this is supposed to go, where that's supposed to go. Uh, when we notify the town and send them actually the copies of these applications, that the local town board, planning and zoning boards would then basically have a heads up as to what someone's planning to go where and so that there'd be full disclosure of a particular project. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagdostakis? No. Benton? Yes. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? No. Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganka, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 18 eyes, three no's. Okay, now number two, which is Eric and Keisha Richardson Barnett in the town of Chester. A roll call, I'm sorry. A discussion? You want to be added to one or two? Both of them, okay, no problem. Okay, roll call on the second parcel. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 25. Legislators Totel, Minuta, Benton, Benelli. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the Orange County Community Development Block Grant Budget for the Office of Community Development pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Two we added. Uh, Lujan added, Stagenga, Sierra added, Paduke added, Sutherland added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Tortell, Tui, Biro, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 26. Legislators Tortell, Minuta, Benton, Hines. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the Orange County Home Program budget for the Office of Community Development pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. 
discussion? Two we added, Luhan, Stegenga, Benelli, Paduk, Kulisek. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fegion? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Stegenga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Number 27. Legislators Lujan, Tortel, and Sassi, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create fiscal manager at the Orange County Department of Community Development pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Vero added. Tui, Ruskevich, Minuta, Benelli, Stegenga. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, we have one speaker signed up afterwards, Bennett Weiss, regarding ICE. The button. There you go. Oh, you had it. No, you, you, ha you turned it on. You turned it off. Do it again. Maybe. There you go. I'm good now. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, but before I uh, address the ice issue, I just want to uh, suggest that if you're truly interested in facilitating public input at these meetings, that you don't require people who want to speak on non-agenda items to show up at the beginning of the meeting to sign up, because if we could see the agenda, if we're not interested in the agenda, but nonetheless have something to say, it's quite inconvenient to have to come here, sign up, and then wait two and a half hours. I don't see why you just can't have the sign-in sheet all the time, or at the very least allow us to sign in online. But be that as it may, um, I, um, on three different occasions, have stood outside the Orange County Jail protesting the uh, ICE det detainees being uh, held there, or the fact that they're being held there. Uh, I, I was alone those three times. I'm here to tell you that I won't be alone this Friday. There's a, a, a rally planned right in the park here at Harriman Fountain um, to protest the uh, treatment of immigrants uh, across the country. I hope that some of you will come here and hear what some of your constituents are, are thinking. Uh, I, 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 I don't know where to even begin talking about ICE. Uh, one place I maybe could begin is to use the phrase blood money. Uh, maybe, maybe just maybe the NRA bullets are not blood money, but certainly, certainly having these people there with the justification that you're taking in eight million bucks is filthy blood money. Eight million bucks represents 1% of the county's $800 million budget, 1%, and that's the gross. Now, in the standard hospitality industry or whatever you call this, there's overhead. So I'm imagining you're kind of like the rest of them, and maybe half of it is profit, I don't know. You're talking about one half of 1% of the county budget, now, what a statement it would be if this Orange County did what the other Orange County in California did, which was uh, say, no, we're not renewing a contract with ICE. The reason that other Orange, the lesser Orange County, if you will, did that was because of overcrowding, not because of making a moral statement, but how powerful, how powerful it would be if you were to recognize the inhumane treatment, the horrible treatment of our, of, 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 of the immigrants and, and people seeking refuge. And if you were to make, you could make that statement by saying we do not want to be associated with this institution in this county. Uh, among, uh, it's very difficult to research this, by the way. If any of you want to do independent research on the conditions there or who's there or where they're from, it ain't easy. But anyway, uh, my time is up. Uh, it's just like Joe Biden's time is up, thank God. Uh, but that, anyway, be that as it may, thank you. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. All in favor?